one of the challenges that we face with the increases of contract amounts, and again, somewhat alarmingly, larger amounts of contract than they were three years ago, uh, to bring focus in our communications from our contractors and the scope of the contracts to communicate to underwriters that we are basically looking at the same uh, criteria of scope, but we have just increased factors of usually labor and material, especially material. So the labor function is still gonna be about the same to install a boiler. Four years ago it was a million, but because the boiler cost now is now a million six, the scope of the job really has not changed. The material criteria has changed. And it's important to communicate to the underwriters about the scope not being really increased, the material has increased. The material being increased, there's terms and conditions of credit that in the purchase of a, say, a boiler, that it's gonna take 120 days to pay the boiler to the supplier. Well, that's in within the normal scope of performing the contract anyway, as it was before when the boiler was only a million versus what it is today at a million six. So in our communications of larger contracts amount, we have to be sure that our underwriters are comfortable with looking at the scope and the terms and conditions and not just look at, quote unquote, a contract amount is significantly higher.